want to get over to first alert meteorologist Lauren Whitney with to check on our first alert forecast. I know you've been tracking that storm, but You've been tracking a lot of uh, sun here yeah, in Colorado. We're, we're, you know, sometimes when you're dry and sunny and you think, oh my gosh, we need some moisture. Yeah. And then you have horrific uh, things right. in other parts of the country. You're like, okay, we can just be calm and fine and we'll for a deal bit. with that for a while. Mm -hmm. Let's take a look at what's happening uh, for us and what we're watching here in the First Alert Weather Center. We are breezy through Tuesday, so there will be some higher fire danger. As of now, we don't have any red flag warnings out there, but it is certainly possible on Tuesday and Wednesday to get some of those. Record highs are possible again on Wednesday, and we're really staying dry for quite some time. So so let's start off with the wind. We are very gusty. There's a cold front that's been working its way through, so that knocked us uh, down in our temperatures, but also whipped up the wind in northeastern Colorado. So it is very gusty out there, 24 to 32 mile per hour winds, and it's a little windy in parts of the high country as well. We do have elevated fire danger. This is our fire outlook. So again, eastern Colorado, just be very, very weather aware today. There aren't any red flag warnings, but the possibility again of just some gusty wind and dry conditions, you just have to be very careful out there. And temperatures have certainly cooled off while a lot of us have already hit our highs for the day with that cold front that backed on in. So 75 in Denver, we already hit 85 out of DIA, so it knocked us down quite a bit. 89 in La Junta, 86 in Lamar right now, 68 in Frisco, 76 in Avon, 83 in Grand Junction. And tomorrow, we actually cool off it even more. We stay about the same as where we're going to be this afternoon with that cold front that moved in. So 77 tomorrow in Denver, Boulder, Fort Collins, and Greeley. Low 70s in the Northeast, upper 70s in the Southeast, 68 in Leadville, 75 in Vail, 77 in Aspen, 88 over in Grand Junction and a lot of 77s. Maybe it's a good lucky lottery number. 77 in Lakewood, Denver, Aurora and, and Brighton also out in Bennett. 78 in Hudson, 75 in Blackhawk. And as we zoom on into Adams County, a lot of 77s out here as well. 77 in Henderson and Brighton, Commerce City and Sherwood. And then we have 75 in Thornton and for East Lake. Now, as we zoom on into your neighborhood, we're zooming into the North Washington neighborhood. Lots of sunshine and again, a cooler day. Yesterday we hit 92 and officially today it's been in the upper mid to mid 80s, but again, we're cooler in the afternoon, but it'll be very similar to tomorrow. We have this big area of high pressure. There's a cold front that's working, uh, worked its way through, and we'll have another one of those, but overall, this high pressure sticks with us and is just not going anywhere. Keeps us in a very zonal flow pattern uh, across uh, the western United States. So really, there's no major action, and there are just a few little showers down in the southwestern part of the state. We may get a few sprinkles here and there, but for the most part, Colorado will remain very, very dry. So taking a look at our super seven-day forecast, Tuesday 77, Wednesday 89 degrees. 88 is the daily record high from 2005. We're looking to hit 89 degrees, so most likely record-breaking temperatures. Last week we had record-breaking temperatures. Yesterday we tied a daily record high, and it looks like Wednesday we may break another record. Then we're in the 80s through Saturday, and then we may finally cool off to about 78 degrees by Sunday when the Broncos are back in town. But overall it is warm, dry, and the next couple of days will be on the breezy side. All right, Lauren. Well, if you like defense,